we are going to explain how to write a great CV for a job application at English-speaking companies. Companies can't interview hundreds of people, so your curriculum vitae or resume should summarize your skills, education and experience in a way that makes you stand out. How? Let's find out. Generally, your CV should be concise and brief. Two pages are the ultimate limit, as you want to stick out, tailor your application and avoid ready-made templates or all-purpose CVs. The top of your CV should include your name and your address. Use English names, for example Munich instead of München. Also, mention your nationality. For US applications, only include your date of birth or a photo if requested. If you are not applying for a particular job opening, include a concrete objective, for example, trainee marketing position in IT sector. Next up, write a very brief summary of your skills and experience relevant to the job objective, for instance, experience in strategic marketing at Business Inc. or strong organizational skills. For your work experience, start with your most recent and work backwards. Name the employer, your position, and use action verbs to describe your key responsibilities. Use present tense for current positions and past tense for work you are no longer doing. Good examples are promoted positive image for the company or assisted chief executive to the needs of customers. The education section includes the institution's name, your degree, and actual or expected graduation date. Don't mention grades unless they are above average. If possible, use standard English translations of your degree titles or exams. In the additional skills section, include languages according to your proficiency and other competences like computer skills. You can show off your most relevant superhero power once more, as you already listed them under key skills and experiences. Especially when your work experience is still limited, add interests and activities to your CV. They paint a picture of the kind of person you are. Volunteer activities are especially valued, whereas standard hobbies like meeting with friends should rather be avoided. Lastly, you can include the phrase, references available upon request. If asked, your referee will write a confidential letter directly to the organization so be sure to have asked for their permission beforehand. And then you're done. When following these steps, you will likely make a great first impression on your possible employer. So what are you waiting for? Start working on your English CV now.